first, let's get alive to uh, Evan West, who is on the Outer Banks. Evan, what are conditions like there? Well, the sun has actually shown itself today. It's gone right now, but the high wind remains as people here on the Outer Banks prepare for Maria. About a dozen dozers clearing the way for cars and trucks on Highway 12 and preparing the dunes for Maria's destruction. It's pretty rough. Um, tonight's high tide is going to be pretty amazing. The choppy sea ended the evacuation on Ocracoke, officially suspended by Hyde County officials. I mean, do absolutely everything you can to be safe. But folks in Frisco aren't fretting. So this is Lily. <laughs> Diane Dreisaker and her dachshunds are determined to brave the storm out. You have to over prepare to be ready. Inside the Frisco Rod and Gun Shop, business isn't exactly booming. We're losing money. But manager Kyle Perry says as tough as the evacuation is on the biz, it's necessary. They made the right call. From a safety sake, probably. From a uh, business owner's sake, it hurts, but it's probably the right call. Plenty have left, but some have stayed, saying it's simply the same game with a new name. Is it kind of odd, three storms, three weeks? Uh, it happens. It's a pleasure to live on Hatteras Island. And right now, wind speeds picking up. We have recorded wind gusts in excess of 35 miles per hour. We're out here all night as Maria creeps her way up the coast. We're live at Nagset. I'm Evan West for NBC Charlotte. Mm, if I recall, those gusts now stronger than they were last night. Evan, thank you. Let